Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Ring. So I'm going to make this a real quick episode for you guys. And um, for some of you guys who liked my beginner's guide video, I want to quickly just talk about something that you could do if you want to spend the time. You don't have to do this. But and I, I, I was, people want to know, I'm going to make a video very soon on actually where I like to go, where I'm going to actually travel, and you can skip through and I'll have links, and where I go to level right a lot where i like to go in my path of leveling um again this is hard to do all at once in one video because it's a really big thing to tackle but what i want to talk about real quick is i'm on my own channel i'm allowed to record my own videos for things but if you go to my lotro tail playlist my lotro tail is one character and i never change characters and i'm always doing the main thing and this is really important guys epic quests prologues and epics i when i was talk i did a video just now about navigating middle earth i should have said this when you're navigating questing and doing deeds and all these things make sure you stay on the epic quest and being on the right level of the epic quest right and i talked about that in the beginner guide i did okay so what i want to talk about is here's a little trick you guys can do again i've refined my craft over the years but with over the years listening here a uh, year um with lotro tail uh you could go through and you could skip through and see where I pick up quests and where I turn quests in as I go. I will have another video coming out very, very soon where I will actually show you walking and say, okay, this is where I pick a quest here. And then this is where I pick up a quest here, that kind of thing. But um, if you want to be someone who is leveling with me, or maybe you enjoy watching my Lotro Tail and you're kind of leveling at the same speed I am during in my series, because that series is supposed to be timeless. You're supposed to always be able to enjoy that series, right? That's the goal of a Lotro Tail and a Lotro Adventure. They're always supposed to be just fun. And that's why I have my playlist very organized like this on, on my channel. I want it very organized for you guys um, so you can find it. But let's just say I'm just going to open this up, right? Well, it's going to open it up. Play. There we go. All right. I'm going to mute it so we don't hear my stuff talking. Again, my very first episode. I mean, I'm not going to make fun of myself. But what you can do is you can... Um, I, I I definitely had the enthusiasm, but you get <laughs> you can go through and you can see all the stuff I picked up, what I did exactly step by step every quest up to where I am of being in Mid Moria at the time of this video. I could be well past that if you're watching this later, right? So it could really help you guys out to have the, do this, right? And and use it like this. And I would not hurt my feelings, right? If you did it like if you used it like that, and you just need guides. I understand. Again this series and then of course you just go straight into episode two blah 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 and just do this and say okay where do you go next okay he picked these quests up he turned them in there he did that skip 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 you know you can even turn down how you know turn down the quality right so you can skip through real quick and see things real fast okay he accepted a quest here again i'm taking it real slow in a little tail because it's supposed to be for enjoyment it's supposed to be for you guys to have fun like that's kind of the main point of my channel but again for you guys who need guides out there i understand this could really help you out to get through it real quickly. I'm going to have more detailed guides on things like this where you won't have to do much, 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 this much work. But I just thought it'd be worth pointing out that you could do this, guys. You could do this. You could also see how much I improved everything over time. Better microphone, better setup, better camera, better computer. <laughs> All that stuff. But um, this could help. See, because I'm turning in quests, I'm accepting quests. You can see exactly what I did now. Granted, I have the XP boosters, so you might get to some spots and locations in the game where suddenly you have to um, uh, you have to do more quests than I did, because I have those four from expansions XP boosters. So I'm doing it a little faster. But again, it, you only have to maybe do one or two extra quests that I would have to do. And again, this gets me out of the intro for the dwarves. Now, this is going to help you if you're a hobbit, a bjorning, an elf or in the other ones, because your intro is going to be slightly different than the Erebor intro. But once you get out of the intro, right, which I believe... Th Did I already get out of the intro? Or are we at... This is... Uh, I don't even... Let's see. Episode 4. Let's see. We'll find out right now. Right? And then w once you're out of the intro, I, I'm i definitely out of the intro. So now, I know I'm, now I'm picking up quests and doing quests in the actual area of Thorin's Hall and Farron's Court. Right? So that's what I'm doing here. Yep. And then there's a story of something we see we see some of the cool history there with that mirror quest which was pretty cool right and then we go in episode five right so this is what you could do you could totally do this right oh no we were still in the intro we were because this is the intro to get out of the intro all right so get out of the intro and now we're in the real world and this is the first quest you're gonna pick up right there with scorgi right i mean um right with scogi right you get you get you get what i'm doing here now you see you see you see what I'm saying you could use this for? So a lot of people were wondering if you're new to the channel, you don't know about my actual entertainment playlist, which is a Lotro Tale. Um, 
this could be very good for you guys. Very good for you. Again, you can see even the way I did my camera was different. I think I have it much nicer with my cool little fire border. Um, but yeah, I have a much high, more high quality camera and recording and everything is better now. But again, see, I again, it's a little slow because I'm voice overing. I'm not power leveling, right? And so that's why I'm going to have an extra video made for you guys that will be me traveling around showing you all the locations that I pick up quests normally to help you navigate. I have a navigation video I just did though on the channel, so go check out Navigating Lord of the Rings Online Middle Earth, okay? I just made that video. So if you need that, go check it out, all right? So anyway, that was what I wanted to show you guys with that. Um, so feel free to use it in that way. But again, I also encourage you, go have fun watching the whole videos because they are entertainment and I do voiceovers through it. That's why I'm Zolan Iron Shield, voice of the rings. All right? All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. I just wanted to make that a real quick guide thing that you could use. Just kind of like almost a little toss out there for you. Again, um, that if you're still here and you're wonderful and you're still watching uh, my literature guide playlist, you guys have so many. A lot of you guys ask me questions and I already have guides on it. I've got a lot, a lot of videos in this playlist already, guys. Like, like a lot. I have 92 guide videos already. 92. So make sure you just do a quick scan of this. And if there's something you don't see, please feel free to say, hey, I need something on this. Or more, or you watch a video and you're like, it didn't really answer this question, what I was confused on or something. Don't feel, just ask me whatever you want. I, I'm... I don't think any questions done, okay? I'll tell you if I have something on it already, but if you missed it, but don't feel free to leave a comment. I'm not going to make fun of you in the comment section. Don't worry. You guys are all great. I love our community. It's fantastic. And then I got Rise to War content. I got some other content playing other games. I got my Lotra Tours, which are really fun. And then I got a couple other fun things over here. I got a Lord of the Rings Inkling where I have some people live on the channel interviewed for Lord of the Rings stuff. Lore Master is my lore playlist, as in I talk about actual lore content, like just talking about lore in general. Because again, this, this playlist is not just Lord of the Rings Online, even though I'm glad you're here. You're here for Lord of the Rings Online. Um, I got collection collectibles, battle places, Lotro, all the instances and raids I'm adding to that over time. Lotro Life is just a fun blog playlist that I do sometimes. I got live content on here. Lots of fun stuff. You check it out. But again, that's what I want to tell you about with the Lotro Tale. I hope that you guys helps you out. If this does, don't forget to like and subscribe to this guy's channel. Oh, I mean me. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth, my friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. And thanks so much to my Patreons, too. And you guys listen for this whole seven-minute episode. You're awesome. Subscribe button's going to be there. Next episode will be up there for guides. And a Lotro Tale main content will be down there. But I do encourage you, grab a nice drink, relax, and... Have fun with that Lotro tail. And I've definitely improved my craft on the voiceovers over the last year. All right, I'll see you. Baruch Kazan, Kazan, I menu.